Welcome to this Family University Quick Tip. This short video will talk about Schoology completion rules. It's easy to think about Schoology completion rules as an electronic checklist within Schoology. Completion rules are set by the teacher and help guide self-paced learning for students. Completion rules help a student make sure that assignments or tasks are completed in the correct order, and that student submissions meet standards set by the teacher. Completion rules are an easy way for students to ensure that all assigned work is completed. Think of completion rules as a checklist for students to use to successfully complete at-home learning. Let's view what completion rules look like from the perspective of a student. I've logged in as a student into Schoology. I'm going to choose Courses, click on my desired course, and immediately I can see that there are completion rules attached to the Day 1 folder because there's a grayed out check mark with the words Must Complete. If I click on that day's folder, I can see that I have some required tasks in reading. I've clicked on reading. Up at the top, I can see a box that says student progress. If I click this box, it will show me that I've completed the read to self log and listening to this particular text. I have not completed the three tasks below those. That matches this map here. I can see that if it's green with a check mark, it's completed. If it is grayed out, it tells me it's not completed, but it also tells me what I have to do for that particular item. So for this assignment, Vocabulary New Words, it's a video. The completion rule is that I have to view it. For this next assignment, I have to make a submission. And on the last assignment here, I need to score at least a three in order to get that green check mark for that item. If I don't score at least a three, I typically would have to, as the student, go back and re-listen to the story and then give it another try. This last item here is just a resource for student and there is no completion rule attached to it. Now let's pretend it's later in the day and the student wants to get a snapshot of how he or she is doing in completing that particular day's tasks. If I once again click on courses and my desired course, I can easily see that I have completed everything from day one without having to click on the folder. I have that pretty green check there. And if I clicked on the folder, and went into reading, I could see that all of my required completion tasks are finished. To quickly review, completion rules can be thought of as a helpful checklist. Remember, if you see the gray check mark with the words must complete, that shows you that there are completion rules for assignments within that folder and that the student has not finished them. If I further go into the folder, I can see that the top two assignments have a green check mark and it shows me that the task is completed. These assignments are not complete. The check marks and completion task are in gray. Lastly, once a student has completed all the tasks within that day, the folder will show a green check mark with the word complete. Thank you for watching this Family University Quick Tip.